In this video, we're going to create a color fill legend that's going to help us to differentiate the different types of spaces within this floor plan. We're going to use the data derived from a room schedule to assign these different values. And then we're going to look at the options we have when using a color fill legend. The first thing we want to do is go to our annotate tab, find color fill legend, and place the color fill legend anywhere on the view. When we place the color fill legend, the first thing it's going to do, it's going to ask us what type of space we want to use to define the legend. In our case, we want to use rooms. And we'll go ahead and use name to show an example here. I'll hit OK. And you can see name is pretty detailed because there's so many different types of spaces on this plan. We end up with a very large room legend. I could reduce the size of this so that it shows up in multiple columns. But there's still a lot of data that we have to comb through. I'm going to go ahead and select this and say Edit Scheme. And I'm going to change it from Name to Department. Now, these are departments that I've defined for this space. And you can see it's a little bit more clear, and it gives us a good idea of what spaces are be, being used for what. Now, these were defined based on the data in the room schedule. So I took the room schedule that we created before, and I added department as a column, and then I added the definition that I wanted to give each of those rooms. This can also be done by selecting each room and adjusting the department in either the room style or in the properties. If this is something that we want to have a permanent plan for, we can use the same techniques we used before to create the furniture plan by turning off the department legend in our regular floor plan and creating a duplicate with detailing to define this as more of a presentation plan. Now I can have a plan that's specific for my color fill legend and a plan that I can use for construction documents.